Hello there, George here, George Allen, LPs and CDs with a thread that's been going around, started by Chris Profi at with his musical obsession, and this is doing some uh, digging through our collection to see what we can come up with that is somewhat new to us or things we've forgotten and it's a I found some big surprises yeah he came up with this idea that you know we go into a record store or we go into a thrift store or an antique mall or something and we see some bins of records and we go digging through them and go wow look at this what I found and uh, so he says, why not do that with our own collection? And uh, yeah, I found a few things that kind of surprised me. And uh, some stuff I hadn't listened to for a while. And some things I just didn't know I had. So, let's get to it. First of all, I'm going to show you something here that I got back when I was in high school record by the Hello People. This is their second release and they are a band from New York and uh, it says here I'm going to read you what it says on the back here. It says what we wanted was to grow and create and be something more than each of us could be. So we became us and we took the things we knew and felt like jazz and folk and poetry and blues and even long hair and theater and mime and sometimes ragtime and most of all rock and added a few signs that a girl we knew painted and spent thousands of hours in the woodshed and we've become the hello people. And uh, so this is a picture of the inside. You can see that here. I'll pan that around real slow. Yeah, they were a group that was played kind of jazz, rock, folk music, and uh, decided to get into some mime and uh, theater type things. And that's uh, a pretty good album. This is, uh, as I mentioned, it's their second album. Well, if I didn't, it is. It's their second album. This one came out in 68. And boy, I used to listen to this a lot. I don't think I've played this, though, in a long time. I came across this and thought, man, I used to love this album. And uh, pretty good music. And uh, some of the lyrics are uh, kind of out there. Uh, this is one of the songs called Anthem. It says, uh, they say I was born in the land of the free, but the home of the briefcase is all I see. So, <laughs> it's kind of, you know, hippie-ish style stuff, you know, any, I guess, you know. But this is Hello People, their album Fusion. Good music. I like it a lot. There's a couple tracks that are, um, uh, just um, have no um, uh, words for them. They're just instrumentals, I guess you might call it. That's a word, George. Instrumentals. Yes. Very good album. Hello, people. On uh, Phillips' label. Glad I came across it. I'll have to give it a listen. Next one I came across. This is very interesting, and I've Bought this, I think, about two years ago. Never listened to it. The Pasadena Roof Orchestra, or otherwise known as the PRO. And uh, this is a group from, even though it's called Pasadena, it's a group from uh, England, and they play as they describe here, 
It says the 20s, the roaring 20s, carefree and crazy. Uh, decade filled with fun and boisterous party music. And this is the back cover here. Here and uh, their music is, uh, yeah, their music is carefree and crazy. And uh, they do updated arrangements of music from the 20s and 30s. And so I actually, I, I played it finally uh, last night. And it is pretty outstanding. Their um, new arrangements of um, music from the 20s and 30s are very, very good. That's the uh, Pasadena roof orchestra and uh, these guys are still going strong the the original fellow that's uh, started this orchestra this group uh, he's retired but this uh, they started uh, in the 60s and uh, they spent a lot of time touring the United States and uh, very very good music uh, this one here uh, side one is called the hot side, and side two is called the smooth smooth side. And it's very interesting. I I think the covers would probably prompted me to buy it, and I for some reason just never listened to it. But I'm glad I did because now that's going to be one of my go-to's. Another album I found. I didn't even know I had it, a Peter Gabriel record. How about that? This is Peter Gabriel, Peter Gabriel. And um, I meant to look up to see <laughs> where this falls in line with his uh, releases. And I neglected to do so before I did this video. So any of you sharp um, discographers out there, let me know in the comments. The print on this is so small, I have no even clue who's... I have to get a magnifying glass to look at it. I'm not even sure what year this was done. But I was amazed to find this. In alphabetical order, under G's, Peter Gabriel, and um, know nothing about it. Now here's what it looks on the Atco label. We're doing somebody was doing the thing on Atco labels. Atco label. There you go. Side one, side two. I did listen to a couple tracks of it last night, but then, but trying to get everything else in order, I just then did not. I forgot to look up to see when this was, uh, what the deal was on when this came out and stuff. Sounded like Genesis, you know. Peter Gabriel. Last but not least, I found Art Blakey, Jazz Messengers. Jazz Classics. And it look, it's sealed because I actually have two copies of this and didn't realize it. You know, and me trying to complete my um, Art Blakey uh, collection, somehow or another, George here ended up with two copies of this. This was another big surprise. So, and this is on uh, 180 gram pure virgin vinyl, and uh, it's with. Uh, Horace Silver, Donald Byrd, Hank Mobley, and Doug Watkins. So, most likely, since I can't listen to two copies at one time, um, this is going to be set aside for uh, some fortunate person to receive it. This was recorded in New York in April and May of 1956. How about that? Um, it's a good album.
I just <laughs> didn't realize I had two of them. So thank you, Chris, for starting this thread. Made some interesting discoveries. If I went through more of my collection, there's probably even be a few others like this that pop up. Hopefully not more uh, duplicates. Although I have a notion there probably will be. So anyhow, that's it today, folks. Have a great weekend coming up. And have a safe time with 4th of July. Don't let your kids play with matches as they uh, set off those fireworks you set them off for then. And be careful. Bye-bye.